Faith and the job. It's a conversation that's been talked about a lot this week due to events that have been happening in Kentucky. But now a Muslim flight attendant says that she was suspended for refusing to serve alcohol. Shari Stanley says that uh, she is employed by ExpressJet and says that her faith doesn't allow her to consume or serve alcoholic beverages. And she says that she's being discriminated against because of her religion. It's a case that, as I just said, strikes a kind of similar tone to that of the county clerk in Kentucky who is in jail for contempt after saying that her faith doesn't allow her to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples. CNN's Nick Valencia is here with the details, and yeah, that's what struck us. Is kind of similarities? Yeah, are there are certainly on the surface parallels between the case in Kentucky and this one, but Ms. Stanley's critics say that she took the job before she had converted to Islam and knew the job responsibilities. Still, her lawyer says that her constitutional rights have, uh, rights have been violated and that she's the victim of discrimination. Sharice Stanley says she was suspended from her job flight attendant because of her religious beliefs. This week, the 40-year-old Michigan woman filed a charge of discrimination against regional airline ExpressJet. The issue, Stanley converted to Islam two years ago. She says she only learned recently that her faith prohibits her from serving alcohol. She and the airline did work out an accommodation for two months until she says one of her co-workers filed a complaint against her, saying, quote, she was not fulfilling her duties as a flight attendant by refusing to serve alcohol. Four weeks later, Stanley's religious accommodation, excluding her from serving alcohol, was revoked by the airline. She was suspended. Her lawyer says her clients, quote, sincerely held religious beliefs should not keep her from being a flight attendant. A spokesman for ExpressJet declined to discuss Stanley's complaint, but in a statement to CNN said, quote, we embrace and respect the values of all of our team members. We are an equal opportunity employer with a long history of diversity in our workforce. CNN aviation analyst Mary Schiavo says a reasonable accommodation for Stanley may be difficult given she works for a small airline. In the case of the airlines where you have just one flight attendant on a flight of 50 seats or less, the pilot can't come out of the cockpit and serve the drinks. So at the crux of this debate, as you heard Mary Schiavo say, is reasonable accommodation. And that could be very difficult because Miss, uh, uh, this uh, flight attendant, I should say, works for a smaller airline. She could very well be the only flight attendant on that flight. And as you heard there in that piece, you can't have the pilot come back and serve the alcohol to these uh, passengers. So right. okay. Reasonable accommodation. It is. All right. So it's interesting. And we're going to continue this discussion. Thanks, Nick, very much. Uh, let's bring in Miss Stanley's lawyer now. That's Lena Masri. Uh, Lena, thank you very much for joining us. Let, let me start by asking you, what do you, what do you base your legal claim on here, and what is it you're seeking for your client? Thank you. And the uh, important point to note here is that the airline itself made the suggestion. We know that this suggestion does not cause any type of undue burden on the airline. Uh, it suggested that in order to accommodate Ms. Stanley's religious beliefs, that she coordinate with another flight attendant on duty in order to ensure that whenever a customer asks for alcohol to be served, that the other flight attendant would accommodate that request. That suggestion came by the airline, and she followed that uh, suggestion, that accommodation, to the T, and it worked beautifully. She never had any incident occur. And even at the time of uh, this particular incident where a flight attendant filed a complaint against her, that flight attendant had also agreed to accommodate that request. So there had never been an issue that come up with respect to uh, Ms. Stanley serving alcohol. But this accommodation apparently has fallen apart for whatever reason. And as a result, the airline is saying now it's, they're not possible, what, to accommodate in some other way? Would, would your client be willing to accept, say, some other job with the airline, but not necessarily as a flight attendant? So what happened here is that Ms. Stanley, upon learning that she uh, under Islam, the new faith that she accepted, that she cannot serve alcohol, uh, she brought this to the attention of her supervisor. She requested that her faith be accommodated. She did not make any suggestions as to the type of accommodation that would be granted. And her supervisor suggested that she work this arrangement out with other flight attendants prior to each takeoff. Now, this incident uh, that's at discussion right now, another flight attendant 
uh, accommodated that request. She worked with her. She agreed to provide alcohol whenever another customer asked for it. And there wasn't an issue that came up even that day. Uh, that Rather, wasn't my question. Let me go back to what my question was, which was, would she be willing to accept some other position with the airline that doesn't include serving alcohol on the airplane? What we're asking for is that her employment be reinstated and her reasonable accommodation be reinstated as well. Her her request is not asking for much. The on that particular that, that depends on the airline. I mean, if you've got two uh, flight attendants or even just one on some of these small planes, at least that I've seen, that is actually a big accommodation here. So uh, it could depend on the very specific nature of the job she has. Which again goes back to my question, would she accept some other job with the company? Because she knew what her faith requirements were and she knew what the employment circumstance was. Nobody came into this sort of ignorant of what was happening. Well, the, the point is here is that our society places upon employers an obligation to accommodate the religious beliefs of its employees. They are required by law to ensure that there is a safe environment in place and that employees can practice their religious beliefs freely. Um, of course, there are limitations that accommodation must be reasonable, but what we know here is that this is not an imposition on the airline because the airline itself made that suggestion and offered that accommodation. There was never any incident. Now, the airline would have to demonstrate to the courts that there has been some change of circumstances that made this accommodation no longer reasonable. I understand and, and I respect the argument that you make when it comes to the conditions that should be allowed for a person's faith. But what my question for the third time is, would she accept some other job with the airline other than being a flight attendant? She's not required by the law to do that. The law puts the obligation upon the employer to accommodate her religious beliefs, so it's not her obligation to... To a reasonable job. extent. It is not a mandatory requirement. It's to a reasonable extent, and it seems that they have tried to work something out. I'm not sure exactly. I'm trying to get from your client whether she is willing to compromise. She... What she wants is that her rights under the law be accommodated. Um, in, in this situation, the, uh, the, the law requires that the employer accommodate her beliefs, and she really, she's not required to search for another job in order to have her beliefs accommodated. Well, I know this is going to end up in a court of law, and I, and I do appreciate it. it. That's Lena Masri, who is the attorney representing uh, this airline attendant who is now asking to get reinstated. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.